what does artist marketing look like right now in 2018? Like, you know how many talented pe people that just can't market for shit? So I hope you guys can get some value out of this and I can teach you a little bit of what I know. So I'm gonna pour a coffee in. Oh. This is the Jade Insider. Today we're making some coffee. All you need to make bulletproof coffee. Okay, it's better than regular coffee. It gives you energy without being jittery. So for everyone who's on this like entrepreneurial journey or you're doing like a lot of long focus work, this is really yummy and really good. So all you need is some milk. I use half and half organic, but you can use plant-based milk. Then you need some of this. This is the Brain Octane Oil. It says rocket fuel for the brain and body, but for me it's just more like Oh. Then you need some beans. I use this, but you can also use the actual Bulletproof brand. Yeah, my, my mom really likes this. She's been drinking this for a while, but I think it tastes like shit. Yeah, I'm really picky, so I like this. It's by Stumptown. Okay, it's like two handfuls of beans. And then I'm gonna grind it up. And I forgot if I told you guys my day, but it's been it's been pretty great. So I had a phone call, and I've been really just invested in this like music industry thing. So I thought I'd share it with you guys some value I found um, and make some coffee. One of my uh, family's clients. I'm using four ice cubes. You guys, if you make this recipe at home, please tag me. I want to see. So try one teaspoon at a time. Too much of this can upset your stomach. What? Oh, guys, don't let coffee ruin your teeth. So uh, the oil is on top. If you can see that. Oh my god, it's like everywhere. And then you're going to take the half and half and I add it to the Oh, there's a seal. Okay. And then you add the milk on top. I usually add it to the rest of the drink, so. No! Now we're gonna try it. Oh, this is so good. Okay. Mmm. 10 out of 10. Love it. I'm a chef. Yeah, I really do like this uh, brain octane stuff. So my hands are oily, but I think we should talk about artist marketing now. Mmm. This tastes so good. It's so good. It looks like this. I wanted to talk about just a common question I got. So first of all, you guys are super, super sweet. All the comments I get are just so nice. And you guys are actually super engaging. So like, thank you for watching. Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. I really appreciate you guys. So if you haven't already, make sure you like this video because I just made a mess for you guys. Um, and subscribe to this channel for more I post every single day so let's just get into the first thing um, the question I got was like I was wondering what do you think about influencer marketing especially from musicians the artists are in a huge place right now there's a huge just like opportunity there and I really do believe this is like one of my name my main next focuses like I'm already managing a few people um, artists marketing strategies so I guess this is just an industry I want to dive into so good question I've took a few courses one of them is from a music management company in Netherlands and one of the CEOs was like basically create a fan funnel fan funnel is just a cone and there's four levels to it so the top of the stage is the awareness third stage is the follower then you have fans and then you have super fans so all of this funnel like thing I'm trying to say works for marketing but especially for musicians when you're trying to create a fan base so the super fans are people that buy every single thing you put out that buy your mixtape that buy your concert ticket that buy your merch most of them they're like two percent of your entire following don't be unrealistic it's going to be hard to convert everyone but what I've learned is if you keep that mentality and you spread your content over multiple platforms you can create a really engaged super fan community um so say you're a soundcloud artist okay one of the questions it was like is using bigger channels a good way to get fans so i think getting like sh okay for example getting soundcloud reposted or like soundcloud reposts and like other channels featuring your work is a great way for the awareness level but there's no way and heck are you going to convert all of those to people that listen to your actual music, okay? There's going to be a lot of work that on your end to get those people to the end of the funnel. You want to get super fans, but just be realistic with yourself. I think get aware on the awareness level, okay? Get it on SoundCloud, repost it, or get it on YouTube. Whatever awareness level works for you that... You know, maybe communicate with a big like mis distributing company, but that awareness level needs to also be followed up with the followers. So make people subscribe to your Insta or your YouTube or your Instagram, okay? Um, get them engaged, and then your fans maybe get them into your new mailing list or your exclusive. Um, for my example, I'm developing apps for personal brands. Maybe get them into your circle, and then finally, you know, your super fans need to be like people that are like always in the whole 360 realm. And you have to be creative with it. So I'd say that's my position on in regards to like. Oh God, 
that's good. So in regards to influencer marketing, make sure you have a small fan base, but make sure you also think about a super fan base. I think getting reposted is just only the top of the funnel. You still need to do a lot of work. You still might want to place more ads. You want to do more collaborations. You might want to post daily content to get your followers going. It takes time, guys. There's no way just by getting reposted, you're growing a fan base. Um, One of my friends who's a it's like killing it with Crown Cloud. Elijah with like 16 million streams, right? So like he puts in a lot of emphasis on posting a lot of work and one of them will gain momentum and you still have to follow up that work with really good content after because you don't want to be a one hit wonder. Okay, whatever happened to Carly J. Repson, you know, uh, that song like Call Me Maybe was a freaking lit song and now she's just like not here. So think about time, always distribute your content over, you know, long term time instead of short term and that will make sure you're in the game for a long time instead of having a one hit wonder career as a new musician. I really need to get ready, so um, I hope you enjoyed Jade Insider Coffee Edition, and I hope you guys also make this, because it's really, really yummy, and really good for you. Mm. Hold up, if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like, and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me, and I really appreciate it. Mwah.